every year more than half a million women the world are found with cervical cancer and still every year about 400,000 women worldwide die from the condition cervical cancer is the cancer of the cervix the lower part of the uterus that opens into the birth canal and it is one of the most common types of cancer in women worldwide and also one of the most preventable thanks to early detection causes all cervical cancers are caused by human papilloma virus or HPV there are over 100 types of HPV some of which pose higher risk of cancer than others. About 70% of all cancers are caused by two major types, which are HPV-16 and HPV-18. Pathogenesis. Two chemicals released by HPV known as protein E6 and protein E7 interfere with cells function by turning off tumor suppressor genes that normally prevent excessive cell division at the core of cancerization. This leads the cell to grow in an uncontrolled manner. HPV is sexually transmitted and it's very common. Studies show that by age 50 about 80% of women are infected. The good thing is that in most cases, HPV infections resolve on their own and do not cause cancer. Risk factors. Factors that may increase the risk of persistent HPV infections include weakened immune system by for example HIV infection, two, other sexually transmitted infections, for example, gonorrhea, chlamydia, etc. 3. Smoking. 4. Risk of developing HPV infection also increases with multiparity or having many children, and long term use of birth control pills. Allergy. The cervix has two major cell types the flat squamous cells lining the outer part and the column glandular cells covering the inside of the cervical canal. Glandular cells produce the mucus in the cervix. Both types can become cancerous but squamous cells casting over are much more common. Cancer usually starts in the zone when the two cell types meet, known as the transformation zone. But over time, cancer cells invade deeper into the cervical tissue and in adverse cases, cancer cells can spread to other organs of the body. Signs and Symptoms Every stage of cervical cancer generally produces no symptoms. But at the advanced stage, cervical cancer may cause number one, pelvic pain, for example, too much pelvic pain while exercising, number two, abnormal bleeding, number three, irregular bleeding between periods or after menopause, among other, number four, unusual discharges. Cervical cancer develops very slowly, so symptoms for this stage appears after several years, even 7 to 14 years. The invest cervical cancer is a result of women not having regular screening with regular pap smears and or HPV or human papilloma testing. And those not following with their doctors after receiving abnormal pap smears may develop cancer. Prevention. Prevention includes two means, HPV vaccine and early detection. We start with early detection and you understand why. Early detection is the key to prevent cervical cancer. Cervical cancer screening may include pap smear test alone or in combination with HPV DNA test. In a pap smear test, Cells are scraped from the cervix and examined for cancerous or precancerous changes. For 
Sometimes she changes her name as cervical intraepithelial neoplasia or CIN or cervical dysplasia. If the results show potential lesions or cervical intraepithelial neoplasia stage 1, stage 2 or 3, the test can be repeated after 6 months or a year to monitor the condition. Additional diagnostic tests may also be performed. In most cases, mild dysplasia resolves on its own. And follow-up tests are important to confirm. In small number of cases, these abnormal cells may develop into cancer and they usually take years to do so which allows enough time of treatment if detected early. But in all cases, cervical cancer screening is an important part of women's health care. All women should start having screening at age 21. But depending on the age and health history, this is how the cervical cancer screening is done as recommended by current guidelines. Number 1. Women who are 21 to 29 should have a patch smear test alone every 3 years. And HPV testing alone can also be considered for women who are 25 to 29, but pap smear tests are preferred. Number two, women who are 30 to 65 have three options for testing. Option one, they can have a pap smear test alone every three years. Number two, they can have HPV testing alone every five years. Or better, they can have a pap smear and HPV tests every five years. This is also called a five years or testing. When to stop cervical cancer screening? Women should stop having cervical cancer screening after age 65, but only if number one, they do not have a history of moderate or severe abnormal cervical cells or cervical cancer, and they have had either three negative pap tests result in a row or two negative HPV tests in a row. Three negative HPV tests in a row within the past 10 years. The most recent test should have been performed within the past three or five years depending on the type of the test. Women who had had hysterectomy may still need to have cervical cancer screening, but the decision is based on whether the cervix was removed, why the hysterectomy was needed, and whether there is a history of severe cervical cell changes or a history of cervical cancer. Moreover, even if the cervix is moved at the time of hysterectomy, cervical cells can still be present at the top of the birth canal. And if you have a history of cervical cancer or high-grade cervical cell changes, you should continue to have screening for 20 years after the time of your surgery. Another quick screening technique commonly used in low resource settings is the visual inspection with acetic acid or VIA and with Lugo iodine. This is a next eye visual inspection of the cervix after application of 5% acetic acid and or Lugol's iodine. That provides simple tests and quick results for the early invasive cervical cancinoma. The great advantage of VIA and VILI is that the results are immediately available and do not require any laboratory support. Another technique that was used in the early part of 20th century is the skillers iodine, which was discontinued and replaced by the previously three mentioned screening techniques. Two, HPV vaccines as prevention for cervical cancer. The HPV vaccine is an important way to help protect against the HPV infections that most commonly cause cancer. But the HPV vaccine does not protect against all types of HPV that can cause cancer. 
So women who have been vaccinated against HPV still need to follow the cervical cancer screening recommendation for their age group. A full video on HPV infections will be presented on this channel very soon. Diagnosis Cervical cancer often starts with an abnormal HPV or perhaps mere test result. This will lead to further tests which can diagnose cervical cancer or precancer. The pap test and HPV test are screening tests, but not diagnostic tests. They cannot tell for certain if a woman has cervical cancer. Cervical cancer may also be suspected if you have symptoms like abnormal bleeding or pelvic pain. Biopsies are the only test to confirm cervical cancer. There are many ways to take biopsies from the cervix. Among them, colposcopic biopsy, endocervical scraping, cone biopsy, etc. If biopsies confirm the presence of cancer, more tests can be prescribed to check the spread of the condition to other organs. A chest x ray to rule out the spread to the lungs. A proctoscopy to exclude the spread to the bowels, a cystoscopy for the bladder, a magnetic resonance imaging look at the soft tissue parts of the body, cervical cancer staging. As you see, we have stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, and stage 4. And each stage has sub stages and describes below. Treatment options for cervical cancer include number one, surgery, number two, radiation therapy, number three, chemotherapy, or a combination of these. Early stage of cervical cancer is treated with a total hysterectomy or surgical removal of the uterus with or without bilateral cell pingo or phorectomy. This option is effective in preventing cancer from coming back and it's usually preferred when the patient do not need to maintain fertility. Special surgical excision can be done for patients who prefer to preserve their uterus and maintain fertility. But advanced stages of cervical cancer will require a combination of external and internal radiation therapy with chemotherapy drugs such as cipletin or carboplatin. Giving chemotherapy at the same time as radiation therapy helps the radiation therapy work better. For stage 4B cancer, radiation therapy and chemotherapy as palliative therapy can be prescribed. In summary, in 2020, an estimated 341,000 women worldwide died from cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is a type of cancer that occurs in the cells of the cervix, the lower part of the uterus. Various strains of human papilloma virus or HPV, a sexually transmitted virus, play a role in causing more cervical cancer. Pap smear tests and HPV tests help detect early precancer cervical changes, while biopsy of the cervix together with clinical signs and symptoms help diagnose cervical cancer. Treatment of early stage of cervical cancer include removal of the uterus, also called hysterectomy, and specialized incisions, while advanced stages are treated by radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or both combined. I'm Dr. Eric. This channel delivers information that promotes health and holistic wellness as well as lifestyle safety tips. Wow. All the information provided on this channel is tailored for holistic health educational purposes. If not subscribed yet, subscribe now and activate notification clock. Thank you for watching this video on cervical cancer. 
I hope this video was helpful and we'll see you very soon in our wonderful world of holistic health talk. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you